proudly presented by Rolex. The Opera Bastille in Paris is celebrating its 30th anniversary. The modern opera house was commissioned for the bicentennial of the French Revolution. It today attracts one of the youngest audiences. The Bastille is a theatre of today. It's a modern theatre created with a mission to draw new audiences, accessing the vastest and most varied audiences possible. When the curtain rose for the first time at the Opera Bastille, it revealed a colossal work, Les Troyens by Hector Berlioz. The celebrated Russian director Dmitry Chernyakov reimagines the play in a new production, marking the anniversary. Hector Berlioz is a very visual composer, very colourful. On stage he tells you a story in detail. It's a huge palette of colours. The French composer retells the exploits of Aeneas in the five-act epic, passionately interpreted by the American tenor Brandon Jovanovich. The opera consists of two parts with different themes, the sacking of Troy and the Trojans in Carthage. I tried to unite the story with only one common point, one character, Aeneas. This is his personal story about what's happening to him, and we found that a lot of different sides to his character aren't clear on first impressions. trying to do the right thing, he's trying to follow his, uh, his mission in life, what, what he thinks, or in this case, what the gods have, uh, what the gods have told him he has to do. And uh, I, th I don't know, there's something I think that we can all identify with that, trying to find our way in life, struggling through life in uh, so many aspects. Dmitry Chernyakov's among the most experimental thinkers in the world of opera. The second part set in a post-traumatic stress clinic. He's taken it more into an emotional state where he sees struggle within, um, within these characters. The most difficult task is the one I'm most interested in. I don't want to do something that's too easy to understand. I like to work on challenging stories, and that rouses my courage and curiosity. An opera house, which is a theatre of vibrant performances, has to be open to debate. For me, it's important to be able to invite stage directors who have a scenographic perspective of the piece and who offer ideas that might sometimes throw the audience off guard and surprise them. presented by Rolex.